Today is a particularly, particularly good day. It is a Saturday, November, what is it? November something. Um, stressful morning, was gonna vlog it, but um, I lost my keys. Uh, I was falling apart emotionally. Betsy is frustrated with me. My dad was frustrated with me. My mom was frustrated with me. My mom then became frustrated with my father because she was frustrated at me. And my dad was frustrated because everyone was frustrated. We've kept this radio silent from the internet mostly, but we're picking up an Australian Shepherd. It's about nine weeks old. I have no idea what to expect. I've never had a puppy. Betsy and I are gonna kind of share it because we're engaged, but until we're married, I'm just gonna have to clean up the poop. We went and bought him a collar, a little fake Starbucks squishy mug latte thing. That's real Starbucks. And we're gonna go pick him up from this lady I found on Facebook Marketplace. And we're gonna throw him in the back, or in my lap, or whichever. And we're gonna bring him home. Chester. Oh, she told him to sit, so he sat. Oh, oh my goodness! We so we just pulled in and he's he's right out there. Hey buddy. Chester. Chester, come here, baby. Hey. He's the cutest little bean. We met her on a Facebook marketplace, so there was a part of me that didn't believe he existed. And then we pulled in and he was just standing there. Hey little buddy. Hey. We're gonna grow old together. <laughs> Do the uh, the ceremony. We're putting the collar on for the first time on little Chester. Little Chester. Oh. Chester, you're a big boy. Chester's a big boy now. He's the most well-behaved little man. Hey. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that collar, Chester. Wow, you're so handsome. Oh my God, cool. So, Chester went into the crate all by himself, which is such a big boy move. And he's just playing with a little hippo and we're practicing closing the gate and not freaking out. He didn't do well when Steven left the room. He started pawing at the gate and I opened it because I didn't want to deal with it. But now he's being the goodest boy. the best dog in the world. So the trick is, from what I've heard, you lead your dog into the cage. Now I'm not Caesar Milan, but we're getting really good at this. You lead the puppy into the cage. Well first, <clears throat> let me start over. <laughs> so you introduce the crate into the room. And you kind of mess with it a little bit, get a little bit of sensory with the puppy. Um, and then you throw a treat in there so that he um, has that reinforcement that the cage is a place that he can go and be happy and safe. Then he let him walk out. Then you let, then you lead him back in, close the gate for one second, open it so he knows that he's not trapped and it's still a safe zone. Then you lead him back in and he then, and then you close it for two seconds, put him back in. Then you keep going until you can close it indefinitely without him freaking out. We are officially concluding the first of the last seven days. Uh, it's Saturday, Saturday night, and the show is next Saturday, or this coming Saturday, you know what I mean. But just got off of cardio, it felt so easy. Um, it's crazy, I, after these last like three and a half months, like I don't even recognize the person I was, which is super cliche, but God is good. It feels amazing. We got a new dog this morning. Got engaged last week. Moved back in with my parents to save a little money before the wedding. And I just feel so good. I'm just ready to, I'm ready to end it. Um, and, and I feel good, like everyone has said, like, oh, peak week, oh, seven days, you're gonna be drugging along. I mean, I'm super tired. 
and everyday tasks are twice as hard, but I just feel so grateful. I'm just like, this is it, we made it. Like I've never told myself that I was gonna do something and then actually do it successfully to this magnitude. So it just feels amazing. Like I feel like I can do anything now. Um, so it's just cool to see how God uses prep. Um, I don't think bodybuilding is necessarily super glorifying to him, but I've been praying just for like a, a, some mental, a mental battle that will like refine me and bring me out stronger. And this is like in hindsight, this has been exactly what I needed it was something to go to the very limit of my mental and physical and emotional boundaries and just crush them and come out <laughs> twice as twice as ready for the future. Um, that's so good, man. Anxiety's low. Um, everyday tasks just seem so minute. Things that used to stress me out are just so much lower. It's just an answer to prayers. And we're here. We got seven, six days. Six days left. Cardio's been cut in half. Workouts are going to be easier. It's just coasting right into Saturday. And then it's game time. And then we're done. And the OCB classic physique first show, maybe last show, depends on how much I enjoy the actual moment, um, it's over. And I'm so excited. I feel so ready. I've done everything I can to get to that point. And you know, if it, if it shows on the show day and I do really well, then it's freaking go. And if I don't do really well, it's freaking go. I still get to uh, have a burger and a beer afterwards, so I can't wait. But. The new dog's inside, and so is the fiance and family. So I'm going to sign off. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.